Hi, I'm Suzanne. I'm going to tell you a little bit about my experience with hearing aids, which I've been wearing for about two months now for the very first time. Uh, I um, noticed that I was missing things. I kept having to ask people to repeat themselves too often, um, or sometimes I was embarrassed to ask them to repeat themselves, um, felt awkward, and then I missed important information. Uh, around the dinner table, I, you know, there's a group conversation going, I would miss things lost the thread. So uh, I decided it wasn't okay. It was affecting my relationships and I, it was time to do something about it. Went to a few different audiologists. Both of them recommended the Phonak brand, P-H-O-N-A-K. And um, there are three models to the Phonak and they recommended the top of the line, which is Lumity, L-U-M-I-T-Y. Uh, they are impartial uh they don't, they don't get a kickback, you know, so there, there was nothing in it for them to recommend the Phonak or the top of the line, the Lumity. Um, and based on my research, I, I agree that this, uh, these are, uh, this is a very good quality device. Um, I was a little bit concerned about the Lumity, however, it's the most high tech of the three Phonak, uh, models, and I'm not a high tech person. Uh, this is a Bluetooth enabled device. You download an app on your phone, um, which then pairs with the hearing aid. And um, as I said, I'm not a tech savvy person. So I thought perhaps this is not for me. And they said, on the contrary, it is for me because it is so uh, um, self-adjusting. It, it, it adjusts to automatically to changes in the sound environment and requires minimal manipulation by me as the user. And, and that has proven to be the case. I'm quite satisfied with it. Uh, this is my... Uh, charger case, which is plugged into an external power supply every night. Um, and you see there the two hearing aids. I'll pull out the right one. It's red. I don't know if you can see the color red there. It's color coded red for right ear. And um, this is the computer part uh, that rests behind your ear. And then it the this wire snakes around to the, to the uh, speaker, I've also heard it called microphone or receiver, which is inserted in your ear canal. And you may see that there is this rubber tip on the speaker, and that rubber tip can come in different uh, shapes and sizes uh, for your comfort. And different, it'll affect your comfort as well as how sound is perceived. So that's something that the audiologist works with you on. Um, it took us a few tries to find the dome that worked best for me. And um, um, I'm very satisfied with, with, with the device. Uh, the, the downside is simply that uh, you have to be careful that the computer part resting on your ear doesn't get dislodged. Um, even if it does, it's pretty well, the, the speaker is pretty well uh, seated in your ear canal, but still you, you want to be mindful of that. And when you're removing glasses and removing uh, um, masks, which I sometimes still wear, uh, that can be tricky. Um, it's convenient in that uh, I, I listen to a lot of audiobooks, and so I no longer need, need earbuds. I can just listen to the books through my hearing aids. Um, even if my phone is across the room, I hear the ping of a text message. It kind of feels like I have a superpower. And um, the phone rings right in my ear. I All I have to do is tap twice on the computer to accept the call and tap once to terminate the call. Very convenient. Um, by the same token, um, the uh, Bluetooth sensitivity sometimes is more than you want. So occasionally I pick up on sounds in conversations that are not intended for me. And uh, that happened at the dentist recently where music started blaring into my ears uh, from the sound system 
of the dental office. Uh, no problem, just had to turn off the Bluetooth and all was well. Well worth the inconvenience to now be able to hear better and uh, uh, not have my deficit interfere with my relationships, which I cherish. Thanks for your time.